Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Nottingham Forest taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Well, no surprise, really. They're matching up here. But there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And they kick off here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Moving forward effectively. Is it going to be? And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Murillo giving the ball to the opposition that time magnificent challenge to win it back and Nottingham Forest throw coming up Poor pass under no real pressure. Murillo. And it's with Gibbs White. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Kukureya. Morgan gives white and a good looking pass free kick to Chelsea Moises Caicedo working away patiently looking for an opening Can he play it in? He read the situation defensively and did his job. 
And it's a quality pass. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. Gonzalo Montiel. Excellent vision. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Really good high press. Please return to your vehicle immediately. This is looking threatening. Hudson Odoi. Shot attempted. Now well, able to close down the shot. But he's gone short with it. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Could be. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Palmer. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Gonzalo Montiel. Ryan Yates. Now, what can they do from here? It needs an accurate cross. And far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Great block. And the cross comes to nothing. Kukureya. Mikhailo Mudrik. Benoit Badiashil. This is Thiago Silva. Madueke. Caicedo. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Not high quality defending. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. So, nearing the break, Chelsea hold the edge. Stuart, how about your assessment of what you've seen from them in the first 45? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. Well read to ease the pressure. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Aina just lost his focus. Throw in here. And a Chelsea throw in coming up here. Nkunku. Will it happen for them? Real chance. Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Yeah. 
Corner kick played in. It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game and attack. Yeah, he's been well marshalled so far, but he hasn't worked the defenders or the goalkeeper hard enough. He's got to impose himself on this game, otherwise they're going to struggle to get back into this. And the game begins... Well, off and running again, and it was a sublime performance by Chelsea in the first half. Let's see how the second half plays out. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. What a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. There's a slide draw pass. Can he take advantage? There it is. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, I have to say, looking at the replay, he couldn't have placed that any better, could he? What a good goal that is. The ball is moving again, and there's no getting away from it. Chelsea are really in the mood here. Morgan gives White. Extremely sloppy in possession. Mikhailo Mudrik. It's opening up for them. Timely intervention. Nkunku Nkunku and a very good challenge and he has options available but quick thinking defensively He read the situation defensively and did his job. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Careless in possession. And Kunku. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Aina. A chance maybe from the wide position. But the danger averted for now. Noni Madueke. 
How can he take them on and beat them? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Take it away. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Gallagher. Mikhailo Mudrik. Nkunku. Great opportunity. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, they survived the attack. Hudson Odoi. The delivery. Well clattered away. Mudrik. Well, not long to go now, and Chelsea have been superb, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, they might be onto something. Real chance. Nkunku. Nkunku. A good and fair challenge. Not a good pass. Well, these fans are starting to leave here. There's just no chance of a comeback now. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Five minutes to go. This attack looks highly promising. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Nkunku. Noni Madueke. Moises Caicedo. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. But then the one that goes astray. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. A really sumptuous ball. Well, he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Aina might be able to set up the chance. Can he put it away here? So the final whistle now. It goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.